Hi artists, welcome to Meet the Masters. Okay, this month our project is going to look a little bit different because we have to do it online via YouTube. So if you are in kindergarten, first grade, or second grade, you're in the right spot. This is the tutorial for your project. And then next month, I will be back in your classroom and I can't wait to see you. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our project. Okay, this is really fun. This is our own Saturday evening post, like Norman Rockwell did. So here we have, you can see it opens up like a magazine. And we've got the title, the post at the top. In the middle, we've got a picture, a seasonal picture. So here I drew a pumpkin. You might want to draw something for Halloween or Thanksgiving is coming up, even summertime, Christmas time, any type of seasonal or holiday picture will be fantastic. And then at the bottom, we've got illustrated by, and then I signed my name, Mrs. Stuckey. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want you to do, I'm gonna set this to the side, is take your artist profile slip and let's go ahead with a pencil. I want you to write your name on your artist profile slip. So I wrote Mrs. Stuckey. I want you to write your name on the artist profile slip. So teachers, you can pause it here if you need a minute. All right, so now we're gonna move this up here and we're gonna take our big colorful piece of paper. I've got an orange paper. You will probably have a different color. You might be a twin and have an orange one, but you're gonna have just a random color to work with today. Now, the first thing I want you to do is make sure that you're matching mine. Mine is going landscape direction. That means it's going side to side. I don't have it portrait direction. See the difference? That's going up and down. So make sure that your paper is matching mine and it's going landscape direction side to side. All right, now let's take the edge of our paper on the left and we're gonna fold it over so that these corners, right here, I'm tapping this corner on the left, is going to come over and match this corner on the right. When they match up here, and I'm gonna make sure that they're matching at the top as well, I'll hold it here and then I'll smooth the paper and crease it up and down. Then we can open it and we've got our little Saturday Evening Post magazine. So we've got one side that opens and then we've got the side that's shut. Go ahead and turn the paper over and then pick up your artist profile slip and a glue stick, okay? Let's take our glue stick Flip over our artist profile slip because we want to put the glue on the back of our profile slip. We'll just do one line of glue, two lines of glue. Okay, there's two long, line, long lines of glue. And then we'll put it onto our magazine. Rub it, maybe we'll hold it down and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's turn it back over. Let's put the lid back on our glue stick. It doesn't dry out. And let's take a look. Let's make sure that when we turn our paper over, we've got our opening on the right side and the closed edge on our left side, okay? So now our canvas is ready to make a fantastic magazine, okay. So we're gonna put this to the side and we're going to pull out our paper from our learning page, from the learning packet. Now, if you are in kindergarten, what I want you to do is take your scissors and I want you to cut all around this rectangle. Inside of this rectangle, we have the letters P-O-S-T, spells 
post. So what I want you to do if you're in kindergarten is cut along here and here, here and here. Okay, so you'll cut out that post. So teachers, if you want to pause that for your kindergartners and then skip ahead, that's a great idea. First and second graders, let's take a look at these rectangles below. Notice how there are grids inside of our rectangles. There's also grids inside of where it says post on the first rectangle. Okay, take your pencil. We're going to do our best to copy this type of lettering, okay? So notice how the first letter P goes all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Then it fills from left to right about one square, okay? Then if you look at the O, it fills left to right one square, but if you go top to bottom, it's about two squares that it fills. Let's look at the S. It fills left to right about one square, goes just a little bit over here, and then top to bottom, it fills two. Same with the T. Okay, so if we start with our capital P and we come down to our first rectangle, this is our first try, this will be for our second try. So for our first try, we're gonna start with the line of our P that goes all the way from the top to the bottom, just a straight line. Then the arch of the P goes around all the way to the edge of our first square, but then it comes down after we've gone through two squares, okay? So we go around, Ooh, I touched the edge of this square, I'm gonna come down, Oop, there's the bottom of the second square, so there's my arch for my P. Then I'm gonna go over to my O, I'm going to start at the top of the second square. So here we go, one, two, top of the second square. Write my O in there. I'm gonna try to fill it as wide as I can. Then when I get to my S, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fill it side to side so I fill up those squares and my last letter T starts at the top of my second square and comes down to the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I want you to practice on your second rectangle. Do the same thing. So start with your P. Try to model your letters as close as you can to the original example. But don't get too in the weeds because we're not finished with these yet. We're going to add a little marker to them to thicken them up and they'll look even better when you're done. Okay, so teachers, if you need to pause this here so that the children can finish practicing, go ahead and then come back. Okay. So we've got two tries. Let's see. I think I like this one, my second try, a little bit better. So friends, I want you to pick which one you want to use, the first one or the second one. And then I want you to take your black marker and we are going to go over our pencil lines with our black marker. Okay, so I'm using the skinny tip of my black marker and I'm just going to trace over my pencil lines, do the best I can, nothing's perfect. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and trace over your pencil lines. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, once you have traced over your pencil lines, these look pretty great. The top example, the lettering is a little thicker. So if you want to, we use the skinny tip 
of our marker to go over our pencil lines first. You can turn your marker so that you get the, the broader edge of your marker and you can thicken your letters a little bit. See how when I go over it with the side of my marker instead of the tip of my marker, it thickens it just a little bit. So go ahead and do that if you would like. If you don't want to, that's okay. You can go back and fix anything that you want with your marker as well. Take out any pencil lines that are bugging you with your eraser. Okay, that looks pretty great. So we're gonna put the cap back on our markers and now we're gonna take our scissors and we are going to cut out that rectangle that's around our title of post, okay? So go ahead and take your scissors. Follow those dashes. Okay. Great, so here we have our title, Post. All right, we're not done with that paper yet. So don't toss it at the bottom, so probably in your scraps, we've got the bottom part of our magazine. So down here, it says illustrated by. Okay, I want you to take your marker again. This time we'll just use our marker the first time. We don't need to go over it a few times. And I want you to sign your name because you're going to illustrate this magazine. So I'm gonna sign my name, Mrs. Dookie. Oops. And then friends, if you want, you can try some cursive. If you haven't learned cursive yet, you probably haven't quite yet, just print it. But just write your name right here where it says illustrated by. Okay. Then put the cap on your marker. And notice how there's two long dashed lines. I want you to take your scissors and cut on those dashed lines. Okay, so we should now have our post title and our illustrated by Remember that's gonna go, let's look at our example. That's gonna go on the cover of our magazine. That will look so nice. Okay, notice how on the magazine, these white papers are mounted onto a black paper and it looks makes it look just so professional. So here's what we're going to do next. You have two small black papers. You have a large black paper, but you have two small ones cut like this. One's like a, a rectangle and one's a re even longer and skinnier rectangle, okay? So here's what I want you to do. You're gonna lay the post on top of this rectangle. Kind of center it. Do you see how I'm leaving just a little bit of black around the letters? Okay, and then I'm gonna come down and I wanna put my illustrated by and mount it onto this one. Ooh, look at this. It looks pretty good on the top and the bottom, but mine's a little bit long on the edges on the sides. So if yours is like mine, let's go ahead and just cut off about an inch on each side. And it will fit much nicer. Okay. So notice how we kind of centered those inside of the black. Okay, then I want you to take your glue stick and I want you to glue those down onto your black papers, okay? So I'm gonna take my post first and I'll make a nice rectangle on it. Put it in the 
middle of my black rectangle. Rub it, maybe count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we've got our title. And then down here, we're gonna do the same thing with our illustrated by. So you're gonna turn it over, maybe make a nice line. Maybe just one line on this one. Put it in the center so it's in the middle of your black paper and rub it, maybe hold it down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got our post, got our title, we've got our illustrated by. It says illustrated by, so we need to make an illustration. Okay. Oops, I forgot. Put the lid back on your glue stick. Put that to the side. All right, now we're going to take our large black paper and our paper plate. We're going to place it on the center of our black paper. And I would suggest maybe using a white oil pastel for this because we're using black construction paper and this will help it to show up. So what we're going to do is just trace around the edge of our paper plate. Okay. So I put my paper plate down and then rub my oil pastel around. Look at that. I've got a nice circle and that's going to be great for when we add it to the cover of our magazine. Okay, now here comes the fun part. So we get to add any type of holiday or seasonal illustration. On this one, I did a pumpkin because Halloween is coming up. Maybe you want to do a scary black cat or you want to do a big full moon or you want to do a witch's hat. I would keep it simple. So people are really hard to draw. I would keep like a symbol. So something that represents the holiday, like a pumpkin. When you see a pumpkin, you might think it might be Halloween or Thanksgiving time. Or if you see a bat, it might remind you of Halloween. Or if you saw, oh, a piece of candy corn, that might remind you of Halloween. So I would stick with a big object and then you can add little details so you can see there's little stars and it's a night sky and there's some grasses around this pumpkin okay so i think you can draw anything that you want with your oil pastels but i think i am going to make a witch's hat and what i would suggest is first drawing the outline of your picture and then going back and adding color and details and all of that. So you could start with either a dark oil pastel or a light oil pastel. And to make a witch's hat, this is pretty easy. I'm just going to make almost like I'm making, oops, almost like I'm making a triangle or an A. It's like I just started writing the letter A, right? And then instead of crossing around the middle, then I'm gonna make almost a full oval. Okay, so I've got an A and then an oval. If you want to draw something else, go ahead. You can draw whatever you want right now, but if you're interested in drawing a witch's hat, you can watch this. Maybe I'll take a different color so it shows up just a little bit better. And I wanna put a buckle on my hat. So I'm going to make just a little square for my buckle in the middle, and then I'm going to connect it with a ribbon. And that's going to go two lines all the way to the side of that A. Okay, so go ahead. Then once you have maybe a uh, a hat, maybe it's a pumpkin, maybe it's a candy corn, a bat, a black cat, 
Or if you don't want to do Halloween, you can do any other season or holiday. You can do a piece of pie for Thanksgiving. You could do, if you celebrate Christmas, you could do something with Christmas, like a tree. Or even just wintertime, you could do a snowman. Any symbol that represents the holiday. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to fill mine in with color. Maybe my witch's hat is going to be purple. Because I think that will look really pretty. So go ahead and fill that in. These oil pastels are really fun to work with because you can get a lot of color out of them. The harder you press, the more color you're going to get. just following the outline that I made with my oil pastel to begin with. Adding some color on the inside. I'm gonna go and maybe add a little color for my buckle. Maybe it's a yellow buckle. Green band. If you need to go back over your initial lines, you can do that too. Shows up really well. And then, if you want, you can do some items in your background. So maybe I'll make some stars in my night sky. Maybe that'll be an orange moon up above. Crescent, harvest moon. Maybe this is the witch's table. Hat is sitting on. We're gonna cut out the circle and add it to our magazine cover. So just make sure if you color outside the lines, that's okay. We're just gonna cut on that white circle line later. So add lots of color. to your picture. Fill in lots of the black. If you can fill in as much black as possible, it's really going to look nice and pop out on your magazine cover. Okay, so if you need some more time, go ahead and pause the video, but when you're ready to go, you, the next step is to take your scissors 
and you're just gonna follow that white line and cut out your picture that you just drew. If you want to leave the white line visible, like I'm doing, cut around the edge. If you want it to disappear, then cut around the inside of that white line so that it disappears. Okay, it's up to you. All right, there's our picture. Put our scrap to the side. And now it's time to put it all together. So let's go back and get our magazine. We're gonna lay out our components first. So we've got our title at the top. We've got our seasonal illustration in the middle. I think Rockwell would really like these. These are so fun. And then, oh, I'm just going to trim this just a little bit. Oh, that's bugging me. Okay, put it there. And then we're gonna put our illustrated by at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that they all fit. Might be a little bit tight, but make sure to lay them out so they fit pretty well on your magazine cover. And then the final step is to take your glue stick and we are going to paste all of these down. I'm gonna start from the top, paste my title. So I just made a nice rectangle on the back of my title. I'm gonna glue it down. If you want, you can put it in the middle. I might move mine to the left corner so it's a little more interesting. Just offset it. Okay, and then wipe it. Now this one's gonna be a little tougher to glue because we don't wanna wipe our hands all over the oil pastel when we're done. So we're gonna turn it over, make a nice circle, follow the edge of your picture with glue and then turn it over, get it in the middle and you're just going to push down. Look how my hand is going up and down and up and down all the way around the picture. It's not rubbing it this time because that will smear our illustration and that's okay to do sometimes when you're wanting to blend colors together but right now I want to leave it just how it is so I'm just going to push up and down and then the last component illustrated by let's go ahead and make one or two lines there put that down I'm going to center this so mine's in the middle and here if your hands aren't dirty you could wipe them back and forth until it's nice and stuck down on your magazine. Okay. Okay, so that was our art project for October. I know that it's a little bit different and not ideal, but I can't wait to be back with you. Next month, we are learning about Maria Martinez and we get to use clay and make pinch pots. So it's going to be so much fun. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.